Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Hopper Realtor. Well, I'm back out at Vintage Oaks because my out-of-state client asked me to gather some more information on some homes that are available on the market right now as of late November 2021. Behind me is a house being built by JLP, and odd coincidence, I've done a lot tour of this lot before JLP bought it and started building their house. Anyways, let's go check it out. Now, the address on this lot is 1964 Portenza. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, and it's gonna be just over 3,200 square feet. This is off, the main street it's off of is Merlot, and this is just on the corner of Merlot and Pertenza. You can see the intersection right there. But uh, yeah, let's go check out this house that's being built by JLP. All right, this does have a beautiful metal roof on it. This is gonna be on just over one acre. And as of no, late November, 2021, JLP is asking 924,000 for it. It does have kind of a, this is a builder's door on here, but I always do prefer the double doors. All right, we have a nice entry. And right when you come in, you're gonna have like the secondary rooms. Uh, this is gonna be a, the laundry room right up front. Because yeah, this is your three car garage. All sheet rocked in. And coming in, this will be like your little mud room section. You have a little storage closet right here. And this is the powder room. So you're gonna have a powder room across the street, across the hallway from your laundry room. All right, let's go look in the main living space. See, they've got a rock fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling. And speaking of ceilings, it's gonna have a nice tray ceiling on it. and they're opening up to their kitchen. Nice little built-in space. And this is gonna be where we were just at, the mud room coming in from the garage. And this is your kitchen. This is on the propane side of the community, so no, no natural gas on this side, but propane shouldn't be a deal breaker it just means they're gonna have a propane tank buried and it's gonna cost like $300 a year to refill it. So this is kind of neat. You can have a pantry with a window in it. This will be the view from behind the sink. And then right off the kitchen, is gonna be a bedroom with its own bath. Well, I can see the bathroom, toilet, and a shower tub combination, and then the closet. Looks like they're gonna have a little pocket door for it. So tall doors in this house. Okay, so that definitely would be like a guest bedroom situation set aside from everybody else. Let's go check out the backyard and big patio area. Now, if you clicked on that link to the lot tour I did, I do show that this property does back up to a drainage section. We we're up high enough, it looks like they're building a little retaining wall back there so you're not gonna have a big backyard but it's gonna also add some more protection when we have those big heavy rains that your water is not gonna be coming up above there but yeah it'd be perfect for if you're wanting to put a pool down here you can bring the pool up a little bit and that'd be kind of neat having uh, this big patio area with the gorgeous ceilings and see a little a-frame set up but yeah, if you were able to bring the pool up here just on the edge of this and then kind of going out, that would be kind of neat because there's not much of a backyard space. Or of course, you could just grass this in, 
Put a little wrought iron fence up there. No privacy fences allowed in this community. And then you got a nice view of all these gorgeous trees right on the edge of the property. Right, let's head on back inside. All right, this is gonna be the owner suite tucked back here in the corner. Once again, eight foot doors and then a much bigger room with the tray ceilings up top. And going into the bathroom. Now, JOP does like to do their, what I call car wash showers. So this is gonna be a big, beautiful bathtub set up right in front. And then the car wash shower where you can walk in and it's gonna have a nice uh, rain shower going up. The mud inset shower, right, a little step down. It's always nice to be able to step down into the shower instead of stepping over a lip. And you'll have your dual vanities set up. On that side, water closet room, and then the big master uh, bedroom closet. Once again, with its own little windows in there. All right, I usually try to save the master bedroom for last. But I didn't this time just because the flow of the video. But we do have a nice office set up right in front of the house. Once again, more tray ceilings, lots of light in this office space right up in front of the house. And then just off the office, we're going to have another bedroom or two. So this is gonna be your secondary bedrooms. Nice little closet. And this is gonna be the bedrooms with uh, just a closet in it. The shared bathroom for these two rooms. So you're gonna have two different vanities set up your toilet and then your shower tub combination. And this is the other bedroom with a little bit bigger closet. Interesting little water shut off valve right there in the closet. At least I'm pretty sure that's water shut off valve. Not a construction person so uh, that's just for my realtor eyes, that's what it looked like. But once again, tall ceilings in these hallways too. Like I said, they are asking 924K as of late November. See, they're still doing more sheetrock work. And give it a little 360 of the whole house. There's your entry level. They're gonna put a much fancier door on that eventually. And then going off into your laundry room, powder room, the great area with the two cool tray ceilings going up and a whole wall of windows and then your fireplace. And there I got a place to plug up to power your TV on the fireplace mantle and hopefully there's some pass throughs going to that. So if you have your AV system set up, you want the try to wire all that into. All right, that's a wrap tour of this house being built by JLP on 1964 Pretenza. Remember, this is just over 3,200 square feet, a four bedroom, three and a half bath, and as of late November 2021, they are asking 924K for it. And this is on a one acre lot in Vintage Oaks. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen 
or preferably hit that uh, scheduling link, the link to my scheduling app that's gonna be in the description box. That is the ideal best way and we can schedule a Zoom meeting to get to know each other. All right, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now, bye.